that's the bottom line because Stone Cold said so. That's right. You know what it is. I'm here with Stone Cold Justin Thompson back for another golf cart karaoke. This is the second one we've ever done. We're excited. Justin is one of our awesome artists that plays here at the hideaway. Too sweet. <laughs> I love this guy. All right, Justin, one of my favorite memories of you playing out here is uh, 4th of July. You know, you and your brothers getting oh, yeah. on stage yeah. and uh, just really uh, burning down the stage. And uh, there was something happening that night, it especially was, it was a magical, magical, it was a magical night. Man. The first song you played out here was was a John Mayer song. That's what y'all opened up with. And it was uh, Good Love Is On The Way uh, by John Mayer. And he had Nathan Hanna on the guitar. Well, let's let's uh, let's kick it off with the little John Mayer. Do it, love is on the way. karaoke i said man i, I nailed it no no I and he's like you're singing this song no 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 <laughs> it's definitely not a song that i want to try so i gotta tell you like chris robertson the black rose he was 18 years old when he wrote this song and to me this is the number one greatest song ever written and he's an 18 year old yeah it's an 18 year old and yeah. like it just the black crows are like means just like john Mayer, but more so for the black rose yeah They're just to me the greatest rock band ever Maybe a reason why. Yeah. Really <laughs> Here it goes. She never mentions the word addiction. In certain company. Yes, we got more fans. To tell you she's an orphan. Oh, we gotta let them cross the road here. But at least they can listen to Black Rose. The they got hey, they gotta grow up in special ways, and that's the way you <laughs> that's do it. That's right, yeah. Black Rose. You gotta style. teach them young. Here we go. Chris Robinson had that little the dance, the, the dance, yeah. <laughs> wearing like hats like this. Yeah, you know? yeah. Not like this, but you know, similar, very you, similar. Use your imagination. <laughs> use your imagination. Uh, so tell us a little about a little bit about you, Justin. Where where are you from? Okay. You know, uh, they, how, how'd you get started in music? So I'm I'm originally from Hallettsville, and uh, I graduated there in '95. And, 
my mom and my grandmother still live there today and that's that's what I consider my my hometown my dad was a was a singer he, he just he was uh, one of those guys that uh, he just had a, a natural talent about him and to, to me and my brothers and everybody else he kind of sounded a lot like George Jones yeah and uh, we he all he never pushed me but once he realized that I had I could sing he would he just would love to just show it off and no matter where we were if it was a, a country opera show or, or somebody's party get my boys up here get yeah. my, you, you gotta you gotta hear my voice sing Tom. yeah and I guess uh, for those of y'all listening all your parents out there that uh, are trying to make your kids do have your kids do cool things that's what yeah, it is oh, two of Ryan's brothers are also really really talented singers Let's see what song. Let's see what song we got what geared we got up next. next. What's on the radio? We're on fire tonight, son. Let's turn son. the old speakers up. Talk about. We already talked about the number one song ever written. Yeah. This song is number two in my book. Yeah. Jason. Oh, Jason Isbell wrote absolutely. it, right? Keeps he wrote it for his wife. Could you imagine his wife when he heard this song? Oh yeah. He fell in love oh, with the oh, yeah. all over again. Oh yeah. You know? Yeah. So y'all. How you doing? Morgan Wallen covered it. Saying prayers in the street life. Been spending my 